Hey everyone, Scott Davenport here. In this Luminar video, we're going to go beyond presets and get into the sliders and changing them to suit your image. Oftentimes a preset will get you close to where you want your photo to be. Well, you can open up the slider panel and start working with all the different filters. So let's have a look here. I've got this photo of uh, Coronado Bridge, some place near and dear to my heart. And uh, it's a nice composed photo, but it's kind of dark. Uh, but I'm going to start with presets and see what we have here. And I am looking in the outdoor category. And I like what I see with Auto Smart Enhancer. I'm just going to click on that one and see what that does for the photo. And that's a nice improvement overall. It still feels a little bit dark, uh, but as I look at Fix Dark Landscape, I can try that one. That one, at least from the thumbnail, looks a little bit too bright. And yeah, that, that is. So I think I'm gonna stick with Auto Smart Enhancer. And from here, the preset's gotten me a good jump start. I like the color, the color's richer, still a little bit dark. There's still some work I wanna do. I'll turn to the filter panel. So I'll close the presets and open up the side panel with the filters. Now these are all the changes that the preset right here, this Auto Smart Enhancer added all of these things to the photo. Now I can go through here and said, well, um, all right, tone has exposure in it. I said this was a, felt a little bit dark, so I can bring the exposure up some and maybe stop around there. Scanning down here, we've got Vibrance, and I noticed this adjustable gradient, and that's doing things with exposure, but splitting it between the top and bottom. That's an area I'm going to want to explore. My foreground is still a little bit dark, but the sky's looking pretty good. So I want to do exposure overall. I have this adjustable gradient I can work with. So let's do this. I'm going to take the blend and bring this all the way to zero. And what that does is now we can see right here, this is the line. This is where the gradient is dividing the top from the bottom. And it makes sense. It's right in the middle. I'm going to adjust the shift line and let's bring that down farther to about the horizon. Right around there is good. And I can bring that blend back up. It was somewhere in the 30 to 40 range. That looks fine. Now what I can do is I have changes happening in top already that the preset added for me. In the bottom, I can increase exposure. Now, what that's doing is it's only increasing exposure on the bottom part of the image from where we have that gradient line. So we can do that and maybe even add a little bit of extra vibrance in there. So if I turn off the gradient and turn it on, we can see that the sky area is getting darker and this is getting brighter. And I'm just taking advantage of something that the preset added for me automatically and tailoring it to my own needs. You can also add additional filters. Once the preset's been added, you don't have to stop there. You can add more. Let's do that. Let's add a couple more things here. So in the filters panel, this little plus brings up all the filters we have. And I'm going to choose HSL. HSL stands for Hue, Saturation, and Luminance. And in Luminance, that's like our brightness and darkness. I'm going to take the blues and make them just a little bit brighter. And that is primarily for this sides of the bridge here, which were a little bit dark. I don't mind it being too shadowy. This was early morning, but I want to see a little bit more of that. And then saturation, I'm going to just nudge the oranges and the reds a little more. That's for the street lamps and some of these nice reflections in the background, just to give that a little bit more color. I think the last thing we'll do is adding a vignette. I tend to like vignettes on all my photos, so I'll add another filter choose vignette and we have a bunch of different controls here how i like to work with the vignette is to make it very dark and get the feather to zero so i can see exactly where the edge of my vignette is once i have that done then i'll adjust the sliders I'll show you how that works i'll take the feather and bring it all the way down and i'm going to take the amount and bring that very far down now i can see exactly where the edge of my vignette is and so I only want to really affect the corners. So I'll change the shape of that a little bit and push the size out. So I'm just touching the corners. And from here, I'll double click on feather to bring that back to zero and then just fine tune the amount. So there's just a small amount of darkening on the edges there. So uh, this is before any presets or filters were added. And this is after. And you know, so what did we do? 
Started off with a preset, kind of get the basics of your look set, then went into the filters that the preset added and tuned those to match the needs I had for this image and then added a couple of my own. Now, if I really like this look, I can save it as my own preset. Up at the top of the filters, got this little button here with this list. Click on that, we can give it a preset. I'll just call it Coronado, create new preset. And that will now be available for me in the user section of my presets. Now I'm already using this, so it's already been applied, but now I can go grab that and use it whenever I need to for any other photos I might have. So that's it, use your presets to get started. And if you need to get into that filter panel and start looking at the different filters that were added, tailor them to your needs, and maybe add a couple of your own.